So Horizon Forbidden West just got a new update and it promises visual improvements and optimizations among other things. They've also improved texture streaming to reduce memory usage and improve texture quality, which I'll be the judge of. They also resolved the performance regression when using the NVIDIA Reflex on plus boost option. This patch also updates Intel XCSS to version 1.3 which improves image quality as well as introducing a higher quality option and native XCSS anti-aliasing. Let's start with the performance. The frame rate seems to be identical, except for the 1% lows, which are slightly higher in some instances on the newer patch. And in other instances, they even out with the older patch. This was consistent throughout the test run so I don't think it's within the margin of error. It's a small improvement, but it's welcome. As for the promised VRAM usage reduction, it appears to be true. However, it's only around 200 to 300 megabytes, which isn't the biggest improvement, but it's consistent and therefore very welcome. For those of you with 8 gigs of VRAM, tell us if you can comfortably use the high textures now or not. I assume this will have a more noticeable impact on lower VRAM cards. That's it for the direct performance comparison, as everything else looks to be the same as before. Now let's move on to the new XCSS version. Previously, XCSS 1.2 on ultra quality suffered from horrendous visual artifacts, but with version 1.3, those are entirely gone. However, I immediately noticed that the new version was softer, no matter what quality option was chosen. A slightly softer presentation is much more acceptable than obvious visual artifacts that are always present. Now for Nvidia Reflex, which the patch notes state that they fix the performance regression when using on plus boost. However, the side-by-side -side comparison shows us that the frame rates are exactly the same as before. But that's not all, as most if not all users reported stuttering when using the on plus boost option. So I tested it on the old and new patch. And this might not be easily visible in the video, but while actually playing the game, I found that there was major stuttering when turning the camera with the old patch. And now with the new patch, the stuttering has been reduced, but it's still there. This patch still didn't fix the NVIDIA Reflex on plus boost option entirely. I'd avoid it and just use the on option, at least for now.